First time in nearly 30 years, the Southern Heritage Classic mm -hmm. is switching up the lineup. The yeah. University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff will now be squaring up against Tennessee State University in the Southern Heritage Classic. And Joe, in addition to the game, bands, and parades, there's also the money, money side. We got to talk business too, right? That's what brought millions to the beloved city. Action News 5's Kelly Cook joining us live now with the very latest. Hi, Kelly. Hi there, Joe and Joe. You're right. You got to talk about the money. More than 51,000 fans packed the stands here last earlier this uh, back in September. They fear would be the last Southern Heritage Classic game. Well, this month or earlier this morning, excuse me, uh, we learned that would not be the case because the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff will replace Jackson State University. The Golden Lions will take on the Tigers of Tennessee State University next September for the annual matchup. The change comes after Jackson State University announced earlier this year that after nearly 30 years, 2022 would be JSU's last year. Jackson State's head coach at the time, Deion Sanders, publicly criticized the amount of money the school was being paid to participate. The departure led to a lawsuit. Classic founder Fred Jones's management company sued Jackson State for breach of contract. The school agreed to play back in 2019 through 2024. Tonight, Fred Jones says he and JSU have reached a settlement. We had a, a, a very good relationship um, and for 29 years and, you know, changes had to be made. The staff at Oxo Pine Bluff, and they're saying, man, we can't answer the calls. Everybody's excited. Jones said uh, he would not comment on how much money was involved in that settlement with Jackson State. UAPB and Tennessee State University will be the feature teams for the next two years. I also just got the phone with the athletic director for the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. They are excited about this change. They feel like at the school they're often overlooked. This is their chance to be in the spotlight. Here at the Liberty Bowl, Kelly Cook, Action News 5.